For some odd reason, pistachios have become the theme of my day. I ordered a pistachio latte. I don't know why. And then I come into work and there's these little pistachio candies, but that's beside the point. Bob Pompiani brought to you by PNC Bank. PNC Make Today the Day. Off the top, brought to you by JP Roofing and Siding. Ron, there's a couple of issues we need to address before we get to the crux of the matter here. First of all, Bob has laid it on thick with the cologne. Oh Did God. you smell it's, that it's, when he walked in? It's literally suffocating. Bob! It's Valentine's Day. I wanted to kick it up a notch. I feel oh the love God. in the room. No, and no, yeah. no I have, it's no regard it's for the great, people you're working with because it's very suffocating. It's unbelievable, it's, actually. It's, it's I little, think it's refreshing. It's called Night of Passion, Morning of Regret. So it's made <laughs> for those. Who... I know you. Is there you a story behind every... that? You say you wear it every day, but I've never noticed it like this before. It's it Valentine's Day. Stifling. Very rare that Stifling. you get a Valentine's Morning Day. Morning romance Monday. for you today, Bob. <clears throat> it's Valentine's Day, Joe. Wow, he is beaming. Delight, yeah. Get ahead. <laughs> Morning delight. Look at this man. And secondly, Bob, you don't get a show sheet. I don't. Horse wanted to give me two, and the show sheet for those at home is basically. When the, when the ads come up. It goes in conjunction up. with me sitting here in the detention seat of this studio. Where yeah, it's I'm back basically, by myself with no computer. It's an outline of, of what comes up when. Horse gave me an extra one. I said, well, that's probably Bob's. He said, I don't give Bob one. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I just wait for Horse to give me the signal. Tell him when time. to do it. That's it? That's it. Thirdly, Ron is the champion. Forget about the Rams. Wow. It's the Rons. Did they, the go down, Angeles, did they go down to the Super Bowl? The, the Los Saturday? Angeles the Rons. Yes, went down to the points. Wow. We all so we both we both had Cincinnati plus four yesterday. I did so too. We that win. was a good one. Yeah. So we both were eight and five in the postseason. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then we had picks of points. Joe picked sixty, which was a little too high. I picked fifty four, which was yeah. closer to forty three. So I not only win the regular yeah, but you season went over. in crushing fashion. If prices right by rules one, apply, you don't and then, win. And then uh, I, I win this one as close as you can on points. I'm wow. a unanimous champion. What can I say? Of all the games we picked, what would we pick? 170 games, something like that. We, we wound up one separated game. by one game. And then Pretty overtime amazing. in the Super Bowl. Pretty Did you amazing. both pick the Rams to win outright? I picked the Bengals. To win you picked outright. the Bengals. I Who think did I you pick? The Bengals. Then I'm the only one that got it right. Ron. How could I lose the Super Bowl when I got the right team? Well, you, I, I, it's not points. We so picked points against the factor, Points factor in. We both picked Cincinnati. What did you think of the? What well, you, what'd you think of the game? Did you like it? I thought it was a very good game. Was it an all-time great Super Bowl? I wouldn't put it up there with an all-time great Super Bowl, but it was. It was entertaining. Very entertaining. It was a good game. I think the whole postseason was entertaining. Every single game, the NFL could not have asked for more when it comes to competitive games I'll say. Uh, in, in meaningful situations. All of these games went right down to it. And, yeah, this was one of them as well. This was not the best postseason game this year, but it was one of the better competitive games that we've seen in Super Bowls. So, for that reason, uh, I found it highly entertaining. Very compelling. Bob, I apologize in advance. There will be some Steelers quarterback talk later in the show. <laughs> That's fine. But for now, there's so much to talk about with this game. I want to start you guys with this. Well, first – do either one of us consider it like a top 10 Super Bowl ever? I do not. Nah, no. I, I wouldn't say top 10. No. But an entertaining. entertaining. Yeah. I'm glad I watched it play to play. Yeah, exactly. Did they get the MVP right? Ron, yes or no? Well, I, I found If you were out, voting. I found out a little bit about that. Uh, uh, Shereen Williams, who's been re- covering football in Texas forever, tweeted out, the ballots were due two minutes before the end of yep. the game. And she is convinced that Aaron Donald would have won if they would have waited until after the game. Wow. I mean, I have no trouble with Cooper Cup. I mean, I, th- what he did on that last drive was just amazing. Uh, I mean, I I, I probably would have gone for him at the point that they voted, Aaron Donald maybe, if, at the end of the game. But I would have had no problem with either one of them winning. How could the ballots possibly be due because two they minutes want to before the end of the right game? At the end right. of the I game. get that, but haven't they had other situations that it's gone down to the last play where they've redone the ballot? Maybe. Like Santonio well, Holmes was the MVP with two minutes left in the game? I don't think so. No, I, I agree with that. And Caboli told us last night on a showdown show, he said that's the way it's been, and you have to get those ballots in early. Well, that that to me— Well, something must have changed in, in, in I would say, a handful of Super Bowls over time, including that one. There's no way Santonio Holmes was the MVP with two minutes left. In fact, you could get the team wrong. 
It no, been, exactly it been, it right. Been Larry Fitzgerald. That's, that's the number one reason why I don't like that rule is because you can get the whole thing wrong based on heroics. But then they correct it. There's never been a wrong MVP from a losing team. But there's, know, been, I, there's been a lot of Super Bowls decided in the last couple right. minutes. I thought Cup deserved it until the final two plays. That's when I changed my mind. I thought Donald's going to win it. I didn't know about that rule. But um, I hard think to argue against either one. It, but you know, there's only one time I think in history you look back that there was co-MVPs. It was Dallas with Randy White and right. um, who else? Who won it with Randy White back in Super Bowl? 12, Harvey I Martin. Think. Harvey Martin. Other than that, there, but I thought this was a perfect setup for co-MVPs. Well, I mean, the plays Donald made on third and one, Incredible. And fourth and one, and why wasn't Joe Mixon in the game? That's the but biggest then question the other to me. Question about that fourth down pass. I thought that ball was catchable. I don't think the running back made much of an effort. I know. I'm with you on that. that pass. I went back and watched it today, and then I, I tried to who, look who up. Who is the guy? What's his name? Per- Perrine. P- P- Perrine. P. Ryan. Right. P. Ryan. He, he I was, think he, I, that I think he been was a hell of a surprised that he got the pass off. And he I went back and it. looked at that this morning, and then I Googled, because when I want to find you know stories on, on little controversial plays, I said, why? I Googled, why didn't P. Ryan dive? And there was no story on it. Is anybody else asking that? Yeah, no, Tony I, Grossi sent right. out a tweet about that. He said there was no definitive replay, but he said he thought his effort was horse bleep. Trying to what make about the, the run? Right. Now, Aaron Donald made an unbelievable play, yeah, but, but 75% of the running backs in the league get that first where down. Was Joe they don't Mixon? get dragged down by one arm. Where was Joe Mixon? Great question. See, that's Great what I thought. Question. I picked Joe Mixon to be my MVP at the beginning of the game because I felt the best way to handle this defense is to run it down their throats, and they had the weaponry to do it. Their offensive line, you know, is what it is. In pass blocking, they're not good, but in run blocking, they're pretty good. And I thought they'd do it. They only ran him 15 times. That was a mistake, and they should have had him in the game at the end. There's no question about that. And if he, I think if he would have been in the game, he would have made that catch or at least tried better. P. Ryan was standing flat-footed. In an urgent situation where he saw his quarterback was under duress, you got to expect anything at that point. He's trying to get the ball I think away. He was thought the ball. I think he was surprised that he got rid of the you ball. Can't be surprised yeah. though. Why you is he know? in the game? You honest to God, make... I don't. I don't care what they've done all year in certain situations. How can you not give the ball to Joe Mixon? But back to the MVP for a second, because that's really interesting. With handing in ballots, clearly they've overridden the ballots that have been handed in in the past. that That's obvious. I mean, what do you do in an overtime game? You, you obviously have to wait till the game's over. Right. Like Patriots-Falcons. So they got it wrong. A- anyway, they, in my opinion, they got it wrong. It should have been Aaron Donald. It was, it was a defensive game. One of the great defensive efforts in Super Bowl history, actually, by the Rams. Um, if you, if you, especially if you exclude a touchdown that shouldn't have happened. They tied a Super Bowl record with sacks, with seven. Mm-hmm. Bengals were four for 18 on third down. They basically allowed one touchdown. They had a huge stop right after the half on the interception. Right. The, the Bengals are up. They're ready to go up nine. They have a third and three at the Rams' 11. And who makes the sack? Aaron Donald. Then he makes the two incredible plays late to win the game and – on top of all that, it's almost more about w- what didn't show up on the stat sheet than did. We well, both t- double and triple team the entire triple game. teamed at times. Go right. back and look at there was one Von Miller sack. No offense to Horse, that was the direct result of Donald getting double teamed. Absolutely. So he took up multiple blockers on nearly every play in one of the great defensive performances of all time, and, they, and I think they won the game defensively. It should have gone to a defensive player. They should have overruled whatever happened or waited. How hard can it be, by the way, to wait? How hard can it be to not to to announce it uh, right when you need to do it electronically? Here, press a button. And how many votes are there? There are, I think not that many. seventeen. There's not many. If seventeen people can't get you know, it together, I, I, I one hear, way or another, I think they I, got it wrong. I hear everything you're saying, but it's hard to argue against Cooper Cup too. What look what he did? Two touchdowns, all those catches. Fourth how about and one. The fourth and one run. Yeah. That he had, and uh, that whole drive was he and uh, Stafford. I, I, I can't argue against him. I can argue for Aaron Donald, but I have a hard time arguing against. But if you're making a case Cooper for Cup. Aaron Donald, then you're then you are by definition making a well, case I'm also against Cup. A, co- a case for Cooper Cup. Co MVPs, they both should have won it. 
That's, that's, nah, that's a cop out. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it is. No, it's not. Then it should have been Bradshaw and Swan. I'm just and saying, Bradshaw on a day like this, if we're having, and, and we're having this ben healthy Antonio, sure. If we're having a healthy debate, year. if we're having a healthy debate, that's what you just said. There's two sides to this. If it comes, if it's that closely monitored, why not just say both? Because they both deserved it. I can name 40 other Super Bowls where two guys had a case. Well, listen, ben, ben and Santonio, San being James the greatest Harrison case of all. That game too. You right. Name yeah. three. Well, listen, I saw Disneyland now change their rules. They have Aaron Donald, they have Matt Stafford, and they have Cooper Cup all going to Disneyland. So, therefore, That's they changed their That's perfect for the political way out. That's perfect. No, to, I'm just saying. For two or Joe three guys. Wants black and white here. He wants it. I mean, you always you want double one MVPs one every year? No, no. I, every I year it's not. Not every year will you have this situation. Case in many, many years. Well, tell I'm me, tell telling... me, Ben Santonio was that a year for a double MVP? I thought Ben Vince Roethlisberger Harrison, should have three. been the MVP in that game because of that final drive more so than anything else. I thought the the catch was phenomenal. But you're asking if, if he also Santonio made an unbelievable catch and run on a pretty Monday. I understand that. pass on, on that, that final whole drive. drive. Santonio was the key with Ben. So if you, all right. I, I'm going defense in this game. By the way, Cooper Cup had a great game. It, the defense of Cincinnati is better than people thought, too. They're pretty good. Spent a I lot mean, of they, money on it. They, they did, and and that's a concern for the Steelers moving forward, too, the way that team is constructed and will continue to be constructed. I was thinking about that, and I think, I think and I've said it, too, that, like, the Rams and the Bengals uh, on their defense. The Bengals needed uh, – they needed a, a run stopper. They went out and got D.J. Reader. They needed – uh, a linebacker, they got some right. They got Hendricks. But here's here's the here's the actual inconvenient truth that I realized yesterday, and I've been wrong saying that. The Steelers go out and get people too. They they've actually changed their ways. They needed a run stopping nose tackle. They went out and signed Alo Alo. They needed somebody to run their defense. They got Joe Schobert and handed him the defense ten minutes later. They needed a shutdown corner or at least a number one corner. They got Joe Hayden. They needed a guy at the back end of their defense to solidify things, and they went out and, and, and traded a first-round pick for Minka Fitzpatrick. They actually are doing that and have been doing that. So to me, it's a myth that, that oh, the Bengals, what the Bengals did is antithetical to the way the Steelers think. It's actually not. Those pistachios are working, man. Well, I tell you, anti latte anti pistachio. Anti my goodness, am I right or am I anti right? Yeah, but, what did but, you say? That, I'm trying all to I, my arms all I head. wanted to say was the defense is pretty good in Cincinnati. That's all, and it poses no, no, no. a problem. I didn't dissect no, it that no, way. No, no, it's not really directed at you. But you did mention sort of the steel. The steel. You said the Steelers will have to rethink their way of doing. No, things. No, I said the Steelers are going to have to deal with that. Okay, so, deal with that defense and that team. That's all I said. But a lot of people, including me, have talked about how these teams were built and how sure. the Steelers don't build that way. And, and kind of, they actually have been They've lately. changed. They've certainly changed, which makes me, in, 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 I think, very optimistic that they're going to go out and spend the money that they have available to them a little bit more aggressively this year and should. This pistachio latte is doing the trick, Anti, though, isn't it? And what did you say? Anti-what again? Antithetical. Antithetical. Wow. That's been a huge talking point, Ron. Including with us, no, is <laughs> it should be because I don't is know that, that the Steelers is. don't build the way these teams do, and it's actually it's just flat out not true. Well, the Rams defense. do it a totally different way. I mean, they've gone out and destructed, you know, uh, their entire first round. The problem, or when the you good, win, it's worth well, it, though, well, right? But, but here's the thing, here's, though: if you're going to do that, you better make sure your your scouting department is on its p's and q's because then the second, third through seventh picks, all of them have to be major important compared to – if you lose a first and second round pick, Here's the thing about them that the pistachio latte has but they, said it. But, but you, you still got a draft, like a Cooper Cup. What was of he? Of course he did. What's the he difference between the 27th round pick? pick and the 43rd? Like a huge difference Well, I'm there? telling you, the general consensus is the long, second, third, fourth, they're not going to be contributors. If you're going to trade your first round pick every year, you better make sure you get some people in the draft who could come in and not only be contributors but big time Here's players. the thing about that, and, and – it's like the Oakland A's in baseball, Moneyball. It's even like the Pirates when they were winning for those three years. You find a market inefficiency, right? You like the pistachio latte, Ron? Jeez, setting man, in. He's you're, coming you're out off with, the wall here's here what, with this. No, stuff. actually, I'm right on. Here's what here's what the Rams found. First round picks, especially in the low first round, are completely overrated. They don't even have one in the top 100. They haven't. They, they're not going to make one for a while. They've barely made one in the last four or five years. Yet they keep winning. Why? because they're bringing in proven talent and because they have tons of picks after the first round. They realize, like, they're going to draft low in the first round anyway. Oh, my God, they traded a first-round pick? Yeah, they traded the 25th pick, so they'll pick 43rd instead. Under McVay, 
who came in in 2017. The Rams have made the second most draft picks of any team in football. So they collect picks after the first round. Well, that's round. my point. They don't bother in the first if round gonna, because first round picks are overrated. But you also have to hit on those picks, and it's not easy to hit a on those picks. A decent percentage, yes. To, when a I say hit, percentage. I'm talking about major contributors, and they've gotten those guys. So that's that's the whole thing. If you do that well, then you can do that. Absolutely. Sure you can. But but and, and then the Steelers, and like the Steelers like have it. to protect their first oh my God, they well, traded they, a first round pick for Minka. The world's going to end. The Steelers tried to rebuild their defense by making seven first-round defense picks in a row. Seven in a row. How many of them turned out? Well, Dupree, depending on your perspective of that. Right. Uh, Watt, T.J. Watt and Shazier. Those two guys sure. were outstanding. But, again, that's how you do it, and and you contain costs that way a little bit better, too, as opposed to going on and giving $120 million. Right, but it didn't work for them. No, it didn't work because they had, I think, injuries contributed to that. I, I'm convinced that if Hayward – had to it and Alu Alu all season long, that that run defense, which was, sh- sh- you know, taken apart, would be much better, and they would have had. Would Devin Bush have been better if he hadn't tore up his knee? Well, that I mean, there are a lot of components to that. So sure, but this started. The, the idea is that when you're drafting fairly low in the first round, how much is that? So worth? is twenty low to you or not? None. They took Jarvis Jones at seventeen, bust. They come back with Shazier. Great. What was Artie Burns? He was like 25. hold on, hold on. They come back with Shazier, great player. Horrible injury. Come back with Dupree. They get one and a half good seasons out of five, right? And he'll have turned out to be a good player. Artie Burns, bust. T.J. Watt, great player. Terrell Edmonds, bad first-round pick, okay player. And then Devin Bush, we don't really know about yet. So you want to be generous? You say four for seven, not generous, three for seven. That's definitely not the way to build through the first, rebuild your defense through the first round. Legitimate point. I'm not disputing it. What I'm saying is if the Rams are going to play that kind of poker, then they better hit on other picks. And they did. Yeah, and they, and did. they did. And now, even if they struggle for a few years, it's worth it. Yeah, you win. But they won't. You won. Would, you have, had a, why, why would, would you have had a different perspective had they lost yesterday? No. no. They made it to the Baron Super Bowl. Aaron Donald retires and the well, coach if, retires. Yeah, if, and... Well, yes, but that has nothing to do with them picking in the first round. And, you, by the way, you increase your odds of hitting rounds two through eight or however long it goes, because seven. more picks. Because you stockpile right. picks. I get that. I think they were brilliant in the way they've done it. And they haven't sacrificed anything. They've won pretty much every year with this coach with the same philosophy. And if Aaron Donald comes back, which I think he will, we can get into that next, by the way, that story. Uh, coach may and, not come back. Him and McVay. Uh, See, I find that a- Allegedly threatening retirement. Obviously, then things change, but it would for any team if you lost a legendary player. Right. But if he comes back, if those guys are back, then w- why wouldn't they be really good again next year? They should be. Is Von Miller signed for next year, too, or are these guys? No, he's definitely gone. Yeah, and Beck- Beckham probably Beckham's will gone. be, too, but the guess tackle what? Will probably Whitworth will retire. Yeah, he retired. Yeah, right? He yeah. said so, anyway. So, yeah. Other guys will become available, and they'll be. I'm sure they'll be jumping on him. It's going to be a very active free agent market. There's no question. There's a lot of people in there. I was looking at the names, man. There, a lot of money is going to be spent. 